Hey, hello there and welcome back to the channel. So here and today is what? I don't know what day is today. Saturday, this Saturday, December 31st, New Year's Eve. And um, for many of you, it's already New Year. So Happy New Year's. Um, we have Dr. T Tropical Island on our archipelago and if you were by the name of Jesus Christ, Boom Beach and Clash of Clans requested um, that I do a Grenadier and Medic video so I am obliging. Uh, so today I have loaded Grenadiers and uh, Medics, both of them are max level. I did boost my damage, health and uh, GB statues there with my resource reward and power stone chance mainly because I have an upgrade ending and I need and I wanted to start this uh, max level boom cannon. So I still need a little bit more but after this video I'm going to keep raiding and, and do that today. Um, so yeah, let's show you what I did uh, with Dr. T today. Um, Dr. T Tropical Island is not the best to do Grenadiers and Medics, um, mainly because it's so small, um, the, the defenses are so clumped up that usually you have either sniper towers, high level sniper towers or high level boom cannons near the beach that can just wreck your day. And you're going to see that's what happened on stages. Um, on stage 5, I think I ended up losing one. Uh, or actually three medics, uh, three grenadiers because of a silly movement I did. One was a, uh, a sniper tower was shooting at me and I didn't realize it until it was too late. And then I stepped on a boom and I, and I lost um, three of them or two of them in, in one single shot. Then on stage six, I think I ended up losing one or two. And then on the final stage, I lost a bunch just because there were there were too many things to use my GB on. I tried to use it on the stuff that could kill my Grenadiers at the beginning, but it didn't work that way. So stage one, pretty simple. I didn't go to the overview because I mean, you can go left, or, you can go right, you can go center. If if you are at this stage, you have the GB to take this down um, with just you know taking the the defenses with GB and then going for it. Um, Nothing that's here it's, it's a threat to, to the Grenadiers in terms of killing them because the medics are going to give them a life. Um, as you're seeing, I'm using a 6 to 2 combination, so 6 Grenadiers to medics. Um, I've seen, I've seen um, 5 to 3, so 5 Grenadiers, 5 water Grenadiers and 3 water medics. And if you have a lot of sniper towers, that might work well. Because yeah, then the, the, the medics can keep up with the damage of a, of a sniper tower. Other than that, you have to be careful with high level sniper towers. I usually use riflemen grenadiers and medics. So I replace two boats of grenadiers with two water riflemen. And that way I don't have to worry at all about one shot defenses because my riflemen are there to serve with a meat shield. I have done videos in the past about that. Um, I'll probably put a couple of those in the, in the link description. Um, not in the link description, in the upper right corner where you can click on it. Um, but uh, but yeah, so here on stage three, you see me, I took that boom cannon. I didn't want to take a risk of losing a grenadier early on. Um, it only took one artillery shot. It had about 6,000 health. If you're doing this or imitating this, it will probably take you two if you're low level. Um, but besides that, I mean, this stage is pretty easy. All those machine guns are going to are just outside of the range. And if they are just inside the range, the medics can quickly out here that um, you see like one or two... Uh, barrages of the of the grenadiers was just enough to clear up that entire site and yeah i mean just uh, there's there's no left or right with the grenadiers you just pick a side and then go for it and in this case i picked the center and it worked really really well all right so we're done with stage three let's take a look at stage four i'm um, still having lost a troop um so I'm lost a troop. So and here you're gonna start seeing. Um, I I decide I'm not gonna take on the on the boom cannon just yet. I didn't take on the shark launcher just yet. So I wanted to see what would happen. So here I was testing the waters, um, and then I realized well I have to take on that boom cannon because that, this splash is not gonna be enough. And that boom cannon has enough enough damage right now that he can one shot my my grenadiers, and I did not want that to happen. So you see here, I start taking on the sniper towers and I think I finished the sniper tower on the left and now I'm going to finish the sniper tower in the front and after that I think I'm going to flare to the right. Yes, I did. Um, take on that rocket launcher. In reality, I did not need to do this. Um, after I take, took down that, uh, how do you call it, the boom cannon, 
there was really anything that could damage my guys. Um, however, I do need to take care of that shotgun here if I want to finish this quickly. So you see me here, I'm going to flare to that two in front of them, and then I'm going to shock them. One shock take care of every single defenses. Not that I needed to, to, to shock the other defenses. The only one that was critical was the shock launcher. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but just one barrage was able to clear everything out. Go for the HQ and, I mean, we, we got this. I'm going to accelerate this. So that was stage four. Yeah, that was stage four. Let's take a look at stage five. And here's what I was saying that I lost four grenadiers. Um, I mean, you're going to see it was so silly. Um, Again, it, it was a contested landing, so I, I thought, well, maybe my Grenadiers can, my medics can out heal that sniper tower. Well, what I didn't count on was being, getting fired by the sniper, by the, um, by the rocket launchers, which have range on the beach, specifically this one, and, and a little bit of that one. So, actually, no, I took that other one out, so, so then it was only that rocket launcher there and that sniper tower. So it's a max level sniper tower. And yeah, I lost. So I mean, if if it's a regular base without any any boost in in health or in damage, it would it, I would have been able to out heal that out. Because you see, one shot is taking about mm, twenty five percent, no, a little bit more than twenty five percent, about 33, 30, 35 to thirty nine percent. You see, there I lost one grenadier. Now I decide to shock, but at that time it was already too late. I had already lost one. You're going to see the next one I'm going to lose is because I was focused on the other side. So I'm going to lose one due to this sniper tower when they come in range. And then I'm going to lose two more due to that boom line. However, overall, I think it was okay. Um, the rest of the sniper towers are low level. So what I decided to do, I'm going to flirt here to the, to the left side. Let my guys just clear that out. Um, I was counting on, on them to clear those lines, but obviously they do oversplash more than they do under splash. I mean, it's very rare for them to hit, you know, one one grid in front of the building that you're attacking. Um, they do hit it. Now, you see here, the funny part is that the replay show that that boom mine was already dead. And that was not the case. That boom mine was already, uh, it was it was alive and well. And that flare that I did at the end was to prevent them from hitting the boom mine, but I was not too fast. I was slow. Um, those critters also, um, those sniper towers were not there either. Um, the purpose of those queries were actually to distract the two sniper towers on the back um, because there wasn't anything really that could hit me. Um, it was just for fun. So here it's showing that they were alive and well, and that was not the case. <clears throat> I mean, so far, so good. I mean, I lost four. I, I then waited a little bit um, to let my troops replenish. So what did I wait it? Um, <clears throat> Stage five. It's, it's saying that I waited four minutes, um, which I don't know. Um, I just, I think I just went in with with the troops that I have because I have twenty four. Yes, I went with twenty. Um, I, I I look at the at the map and I decided it's not worth it to wait. It's really easy. Um, so here, this is a perfect one for grenadiers. Um, just I cleared up that, that um, how do you call it? I cleared that sniper tower in the front. Then I went in for the two boom cannons. And then the rest is, is easy. I weakened them a little bit because I knew they would do some over splash so that I could save some GBE at the end. Um, and we're going to see what, what's ends, what ends up happening. Speaking this up a little bit. So it's not, um, Grenadier is doing what they do best. Still, the, the boom cannons are not in range. So I realize I'm not going to be able to kill a boom cannon with over splash. Maybe just maybe the other one. So now I'm taking it on. Then I realized, nope, it's not gonna happen. So there I lost my my first and only grenadier. Shock. Target that boom cannon as fast as you can. Now he's dead. Now he's dead. And now it's just a matter of of of, of easy peeking. So finishing up what needs to be finished. That cannon in the top is gonna die very soon. Now that sniper tower was shooting me. That's why I I, I used the smoke, um, and it was the, my rough, my grenade was almost going to die. On the replay, it doesn't show um, that way though. Uh, but that was that was was gonna gonna happen. And also that flamethrower was firing at my at my grenadiers, and that is why I covered them. 
um, that we're gonna kill one of one of my guys too. So I mean, it's kind of weird that uh, seeing those replays afterwards, it's not showing exactly what it does. I guess the replays are actually just saving a few data points of, of key movement, but it's actually a new realization of what what could have happened under the same circumstances, um, which is which is funny. I mean, uh, I, I guess this game is sort of random in, in a way. It's not it's not predetermined. Um, you know, what happens to every match is not predetermined, it's, it's not deterministic, it's, it's sort of random in a way. So given the same set of input conditions, you can you can get a very different output. Because the flares, the shocks, the artillery, the movement of... So everything is the same except the movement of the troops move in a different way. All right, so that's what stage was, six was. Let's take a look at the final stage. Um, and then this one, I did wait it to get to get uh, fully loaded except for one, and I ended up losing eleven grenadiers. Um, this one was tough. Um, even even when partially boosted, you see I have one hundred and eighteen GB, um, which amounts to one hundred and twelve. I want to say um, eighty two health and eighty two damage. Pretty balanced in uh, the damage and health. You see, there's a bunch of one shot defenses on the front. Um, However, riflemen would have not helped here at all because they would have get wrecked by those machine guns. So I have to deal with them any way I can. And so what I decided, I'm gonna take the three sniper towers because they're the ones that fire fastest. I'm gonna take care of that shock launcher on the left because I don't wanna get shot on the beach. Um, Cause that's specifically where I wanna go. So it took two, one barrage and two artillery shots, two barrage and two artillery shots to get rid of that um, shot launcher. Pretty, pretty bad. So I am going to ignore the rest of the stuff. I'm gonna hope that I can collect enough GBE and do enough splash damage that these guys in the top are not gonna be um, a threat. And spoiler alert, it ended up being bad. So I go to the middle, hoping that they target the middle. They do target the middle, most of them. So I'm curious to distract the, the boom cannon, the sniper tower on the back. Um, just a little bit. I wanted just to buy me my, buy myself a little bit of time. You're gonna see I'm gonna lose his eye grenadier due to the sniper tower. I did end up losing an eye grenadier to a sniper tower, but the the replay shows otherwise. In any case, um, I managed to clear the beach. Um, that flag thrower was not alive when I did that movement. Trust me. Um, what was alive were the machine guns. Um, I mean, this is insane. It's not even, it's not even funny. So, all right. So here we go. Now I made it to the front. I only at this point out the last one, and I ended up losing one more here due to the combination of sniper towers firing at me and the rocket launcher. And I guess it sort of show exactly where those guys are there. That's where I lost mine. Um, so, so here I I need to focus. I mean, I'm chucking those shock launchers, but I'm not doing damage to them right now. So I decided I'm gonna send a critter pack to to there to aid on on the on the clearing of that sniper tower, and now from here it's just doing damage. The cannons are not in range. The shock launchers are, so I need to keep them shocked. And now it's just a matter of doing damage. I managed to then flare to the right or flare to the extreme left. When I did that flaring, that last shock launcher was not alive. So here's where I lost the bulk of my troops. Um, they were all replay failed. Jeez, that's on that corner is where most I lost most of my troops. They were all in range of three cannons, of two cannons and a boom and a, and a boom cannon. And uh, it took me. I mean, the, the the cannons killed the ones that were in the front. So they killed. I think they killed three, and then the rest that there three or four. So that put the total up to six now. And then the the remaining five were killed by the by the boom cannon one by one until I managed to destroy it with splash damage. Um, I managed to win this with ten seconds to spare. Um, it was a pretty tough one. Uh, I mean, probably could have been done better if I had maybe destroyed the cannons with GBE. But I mean, the combination of the landing and the ending was was pretty tough. But I still managed to do it. Um, like I said, I boosted not because I thought I needed it. It's just because I I, I want to raid and keep um, and uh, and get those resources fast so I can get that other uh, operate 
of this mass, max boom this max cannon going in any case guys i want to thank you a lot for stopping by i want to thank you for checking my video out and yeah um thank you very much for checking the video and so let's check it out